Hi, on this video we're going to be looking at the step four of the update chart based on background color. Uh, this is a really cool project. I hope you guys are enjoying it. It's actually pretty complicated, which is why I broke it up into a series. In this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to take the background colors of these guys and we're simply going to change this first bar. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hit Alt F11, which will take you to the Visual Basic Editor. I do have a little scratch pad uh, module that I've called that I'm gonna create here. First thing we're gonna do is we're, gonna do, we're going to declare our variables and just to make it quicker, I'm going to do a copy and paste so we don't have to do this every time. And really what we're doing is we're, de going to, we're declaring a chart object, we're declaring a chart, and we're declaring a range. And then what we're doing is we're going in and we're setting those objects. Now we also need to set the range, and that range is going to equal this guy right here, which is this, this little area. So what we're going to do is we are going to go set RNG equal to sheet one. Now if I was to do this, um, if I was to be building this out for like a company or something, I would actually have a cross-reference sheet um, which had which had kind of this information. Um, it would basically be just a table, a sheet with a bunch of tables that had kind of my, actually called XREF. All right, so we've got our range. Now what we need to do is we need to loop through that range. So we're gonna go four, CLL, which is what I use for cell. Um, and it needs to be each CLL in range. And if you haven't done this before, what this does is it's a simple loop that goes through every cell in that current region, which means that it's going to start here. It's going to go to this guy, this guy. Um, it's going to go through each cell. Now, if I had multiple cells, it would actually go out here, um, go through those as well. Um, so if you are building this out, you'd want to make sure that it is clean in that area. So the first thing we want to do is we're just going to go rng.select so that we can see what the code is doing so that you can watch it. Then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do our background color. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste this and I will just talk through it. So first thing we've got is we have that, that cell um, and this actually needs to be CLL because we're gonna show this, this cell. We're gonna go into that cell, find its interior color. We're gonna convert it to an RGB color. Then we're going to activate the chart. The reason we do that is otherwise you don't see that it's changing and so the code doesn't look like it's doing anything. And then we're just gonna throw a quick, quick message box that just says here's the color and here's the RGB selection. And so without further ado, let's go ahead and run through this. We're gonna run through it with F8 real quick, which is gonna go line by line. We're declaring our variables. You'll notice that those are popping in uh, to my locals window. And then we're just gonna go through each cell. So we're gonna start here. So you'll notice that that first cell in the loop is that guy. We're gonna convert it to RGB. We need to uncomment that bad boy out because otherwise, uh, so now you'll notice we've just changed that to blue. We're gonna get a message box here and I'm gonna, it's just gonna run through the rest of these. So click okay. Um, the color selected, it's gonna go to green. You'll notice that now it's gonna go to orange and now it's gonna go to that green color and we are done. So that is a quick video on how to take the background cell colors from a table or a really it's a range and apply those to a single bar and the next step we're going to loop through all the sheets and all the chart objects and then we're going to do a loop through the series collection and then we're going to do put it all together and just kind of walk through the code hope you enjoyed